Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. Let's understand the concept of management. According to Henry Fayol, to manage is to forecast, plan, organize, command, coordinate and control. According to Harold Kuhns, management is the art of getting things done through and with people in formally organized groups. Features and characteristics of management are Goal-oriented Group activity Continuous process Universal in nature and intangible Management is important for the following reasons. Achievement of goal. In a firm, groups or people perform various activities to achieve common organizational goals. Optimum resource utilization. Effective management involves proper utilization of available resources in the organization. Motivation. Division of labor leads to specialization of work. Specialization enhances employees' efficiency, leading to more output. Fulfillment of social obligations. A firm is a part of society and uses the physical human resources of society. And survival and growth. A firm is a part of society and is affected by social, legal, political and economical issues. 6 M's of Management Manpower Managerial and non-managerial personnel constitute manpower. Machines They are commonly used to convert raw materials into semi-finished and finished products. Materials. They consist of raw materials and semi-finished goods that are either converted or assembled into finished products through the production process. Methods. They refer to systems and procedures used for performing various operations. Money. It is the means for conducting all business activities and a strong financial base is essential to a successful business. Markets. Both products and services need marketing and successful marketing increases a firm's financial returns. Roles of a manager Interpersonal roles These roles involve people and other ceremonial duties. They can be further classified as follows. Leader Responsible for staffing, training and associated duties. Figurehead Symbolic head of the organization. Liaison Maintains communication between all contacts in an organizational network. Informational roles these roles provide collecting, receiving and disseminating information. Monitor. Personally seeks and receives information to be able to understand the organization. Disseminator. Transmits all important information received from outsiders to the members of the organization. And Spokesperson. Transmits the organization's plans, policies and actions to outsiders. Decisional roles. These roles involve decision making. Entrepreneur seeks opportunities. Basically, they search for change, respond to it, and exploit it. Negotiator represents the organization at major negotiations. Resource allocator makes or approves all significant decisions related to the allocation of resources. And disturbance handler responsible for corrective action when the organization faces disturbances. Management as art science and profession management is an art several authorities on management studies have called management the art of getting things done through people different people behave differently in different situations managers have to come up with new ideas or measures to handle situations and must therefore be innovative like an artist every manager has a distinct way of performing work according to his or her skills ability understanding initiatives judgment tactfulness and experience. Result-oriented. Like an artist, every good manager is result-oriented. Managerial activities aim at achieving a definite goal, that is, reduction in wastage, achieving a sales target, maximization of revenues, etc. Management is a profession. A person is called a professional when he or she has undergone certain training to develop certain required skills with a view to providing services to community and large. The main features of professional are as follows. Formal education. Minimum formal education from a recognized institution is essential. Expertise knowledge. Professionals must have expert knowledge and skills in their concerned field or discipline. Fees. 
Professionals charge fees for their service depending on the nature of the service and financial status of the client. Specialization. Professionals can specialize themselves in a particular field. For example, doctors specialize in child care, ENT, etc. Independent office. Professionals typically have their own independent office from where they deal with clients. Management is a science. Science is a systematized and organized body based on observed findings, facts and events and it comprises exact principles that can be verified and are universally acceptable. Systematic body of knowledge. Management is similar to science in that it is an organized and systematized body of knowledge that consists of certain rules and principles. Universally accepted principles. Management as a subject has fundamental theories and concepts that are applicable in real business situations. Cause-effect relationship. Management principles clearly show a cause-effect relationship. Example, the relationship between motivation and efficiency is proved when management finds that a motivated employee has higher output than an unmotivated one. Identical results may not be obtained. Management is a social science and human behavior is unpredictable. While management principles are universally accepted, identical results may not be obtained under different situations. Managerial skills. Managers are expected to possess four main skills. Technical skills. They reflect both an understanding of and a proficiency in a specialized field. For example, a manager may have technical skills in accounting, finance, engineering, manufacturing or computer science. Human skills. They are skills associated with a manager's ability to work well with others, both as a member of a group and as a leader who gets things done through others. Conceptual skills. They are related to the ability to visualize the organization as a whole, discern interrelationships among organizational parts and understand how the organization fits into the wider context of the industry, community and world. Design skills. Managers must have the ability to solve problems in ways that will benefit the enterprise. The skills required vary at different levels. Top management requires concept and design skills. Middle management requires human skills and supervisors require technical skills. The three levels of management are as follows. Top level, middle level and low level. Top management. It consists of the board of directors, chief executive officer and managing director. It devotes more time to planning and coordinating functions. The roles of top management can be summarized as follows. Top management defines an organization's objectives and broad policies. It prepares strategic plans and policies for the organization. It appoints middle-level executives, that is, departmental managers. It controls and coordinates the activities of all departments, and it provides guidance and direction. Middle-level management. It consists of branch managers and departmental managers. Their roles can be summarized as follows. They make plans for organizational subunits. They participate in the employment and training of lower level management. They interpret and explain policies from the top management to the lower level. They are responsible for coordinating the activities within the division or department and they evaluate the performance of junior managers. Lower level management. Lower level management is also called the supervisory or operative level of management. It consists of supervisors, foremen, section officers, superintendents, etc. Their activities include the following. Assigning jobs and tasks to various workers. Helping to solve employee grievances. Supervising and guiding subordinates. Ensuring discipline in the organization. And motivating employees. Apple Incorporated's organizational structure is divided into three parts spoke and wheel hierarchy. A bird's eye view of Apple's organizational structure shows considerable hierarchy. There is more collaboration among different parts of the company such as software teams and hardware teams. Apple's vice presidents have more autonomy which was almost absent under Steve Jobs. Function-based grouping. The upper tier of Apple's organizational structure has function-based grouping which is an element derived from the functional type of organizational structure. For example, Apple has SVPs for industrial design, marketing and retail. Product-based grouping. 
The lower tier of Apple's organizational structure has product-based grouping, which is an element derived from the divisional type of organizational structure. For example, Apple has VPs for iOS apps, the iPad and consumer apps. Thank you.